for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. the most significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters with similar height and reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed USC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of seven wins, two losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 184 pounds. Fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, presenting the challenger, Alex Poetai Correa! And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter holding a professional record of 34 wins, 11 losses, and one no contest. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Curitiba, Brazil, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Anderson, the spider. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. Ready.
just unable to quite find that range. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. So far. That is his best punch. He finds it from so many different positions, and he can find that uppercut from both sides of the body. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Anderson Silva. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton, and to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Right hand punch the clinch. Now he's got the Muay Thai plus. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. And he landed the right hand there. Well, he's landed a few big uppercuts already. I will bet you $1,000 he sets it up again. You're not taking my money, J.A. That uppercut is coming. And when it lands, it's going to land and land very damaging. That's a big strike right there. Look at the force behind that leg kick. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Left hand punch from the clinch. And both guys really thrown with authority. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Two minutes remain in the round. Just out of range with that strike. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Silva gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Trying the flying knee there. Missing on the high kick there. There's no tell on that leg kick. A little single collar tie there. Into the final minute of this championship fight. Oh, that's a big hook there. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch, punch to the head from the clinch. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? 10 seconds now to go in the round. Again, they clinch. The overhand left is true. Minutes in the books. All right, so a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if he continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish. Good a 
punches he's thrown on us. The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the ones that land perfect, and that one landed perfect. Another punch to the head. He's really turning every part of himself into those strikes to the head. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down with the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into the strike. Oh, huge strike lands there. Somehow, his opponent stayed up with I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Straight right hand now just misses. Straight punch lands. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Straight right, he misses. Got clip with the right hand. Stuff to take down, no problem. And they separate. Nice ball. Oh, now his opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent's on Beach Street. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's gonna do to stay in this fight. Cut above the eye. Left hand punch with the clinch. Boy, Ty Plump. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! Oh! Big knee to the body! Change that finish down now. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Ooh. I mean, geez, Louise. Just misses with that one. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Right hand punch to the clinch. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over! Holy smokes! I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout, and that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So a big, big win for him here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched him. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliata has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 59 seconds at round number two. You're playing the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Anderson the Spider. So a big result for a big man tonight as his star continues to show.